In today's video, we will learn more about the Arduino Portanta H7, and that's coming up right after the intro. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hausa. Today, we'll learn what the Arduino Portanta H7 is and what we can do with it. As you might have heard, Arduino released a new board. Not any board, but a high-performance board designed to program with high-level languages, AI, machine learning, and all while performing low-latency operations such as controlling a motor or using any of your pins. You can easily upload your programs using USB Type-C. The Arduino Portenta H7 can obviously run Arduino sketches, native MBED applications, MicroPython and JavaScript via an interpreter, and TensorFlow Lite for all your machine learning needs. The Arduino Portenta H7 also has an onboard wireless module which allows you to manage Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity at the same exact time, so you could potentially download data through Wi-Fi and setting it out again through Bluetooth. The Wi-Fi interface can also be used as an access point, and can handle up to 65 megabits per second. The Bluetooth also supports Bluetooth Classic and BLE, Bluetooth Low Energy. A video for that in the upper right corner on screen now. Now the performance of the Arduino Portenta H7 is the most crucial part. The board consists out of a dual-core STM32H7 processor, including a Cortex-M7 running at 480 MHz and a Cortex-M4 running at 240 MHz. If you have a big project ahead or need a lot of computing power, then the Portenta H7 will deliver. Most importantly for AI-related topics and low-power machine learning. There, the Portenta H7 should shine in its potential. This little board is designed for the Industry 4.0 and is created for high-end industrial machinery and can withstand an industrial environment. If you look at the pin layout, we have on the top left the battery charger LED, then the USB Type-C connector and next an R RGB LED. Again, on the left side, we have a LiPo battery connector for 3.7 volt batteries. Underneath, we have 7 analog pins that can also be used as digital pins. Even lower, we have 6 digital pins that can be used as PWM pins. And on the other side, we have another 9 digital pins that also can be used as SPI, Serial Peripheral Interface, which can be used for master and slave to communicate with other microcontrollers. UART pins for asynchronous serial communication, and so forth. Above these, we have our 3.3 and 5 volt pin and our ground pin. And on the bottom side, we have two 80 pin high density connectors in case you want to extend your project even further. Now, if you want to get more familiar with the Portenta H7 and run your first Arduino program on it, then I recommend you to watch my next video, which should be up in a few weeks. Link will be in the description down below or at the end of this video or on screen now. A link where you can buy the Portenta H7 will be in the description down below as well. Please consider checking out my Patreon page as well, that would be awesome. There I upload all of my code with in-depth explanation of each video I ever created on this channel, just like this one. Link for more information on that down below or on screen now. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you won't miss out on the next video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.